welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a pretty enormous Dollar Tree haul I cannot wait to share with you guys. Lots and lots of fun items. And because there are some gnomes and bunnies and bunny gnomes involved in this haul, I've had to tether Max to the outside door because when there is any kind of stuffy involved, there is a, a stuff aside that occurs. So I've had a tie Max to the door. So I'm going to try to get this haul done quickly so he doesn't freak out because he doesn't like it when he's tied up, obviously. I mean, he's on a long, relatively long leash and he's chilling right now, but he's not going to want to be there for long. Um, so yeah, so stuffies are like, clearly a trigger for him to commit stuff aside. Um, first thing I want to share with you guys that I did show in my walkthrough and I am kind of backed up. So it might've been a while ago, but I bought tons and tons, multiple copies of every book, every Dollar Tree I've been going to. Oh yeah. This is another multiple. Um, I, I have like maybe 40 of these. These are amazing deals. You guys, great books for tweens. Uh, Monster High Electrified. I bought several copies of that. These books are just fabulous. These are good for even Easter baskets at this point. This one happens to have like a cool little uh, like poster and I just, tweens love Monster High. Tweens love Ever After High. And this is, uh, this book was originally $10.98, I believe at Walmart. That's a Walmart tag right there. Then it became $8.98. And it was originally $13.99, a dollar at the a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. Still an amazing deal. Um, this one is called Electrified, the Deluxe Junior Novel. This one is called Fairy Tale Ending. Then they have uh Once Upon a Pet, a collection of little pet stories by Ever After High several copies of that. I think this one is a double. Then we have this one, Monster High Diaries. Tweens love them too. Laguna Blue and the Big Sea Scarecation. That looks really cute. And I know kids are going to love it. They're just going to get to pick through it like they're at a book fair. It's amazing. And by Monster High Diaries, Cleo Denial and the Creeperific Mummy Makeover. Oh my God, that is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I, I personally, if I was a tween, I would read these books. I love them. They look really cool to me. And then we have, by Ever After High, Dragon Games, the deluxe junior novel, spectacular full color images and poster inside based on the movie. I mean, come on, guys. These these are amazing. So, I, so there's six types of books that I have found so far. If you guys have found other ones, let me know. So I, I've been buying any ones I see because honestly, this, like I said, I have a lot collected at this point. They seem to be in every store. And to me, it's like a no brainer. This is definitely an awesome tween gift because girls that are between like 12, 10, 10 to 13 still love these books, will definitely read them. And we'll like them over most things that are available for kids to put as basket stuffers. I mean, they'll like lip glosses and stuff like that and candy, but they're not going to like anything else. So these are great items. To you can see the cat is trying to wait for Max, who is tethered to my back door. And as you can see, that's my cat. She's patiently waiting for him to go right underneath the the coffee bar area so that she can try to push the coffee machine onto the dog because she tries to do puppy side on a regular daily basis. That is what goes on in my, everything that I have is always pushed on the floor. Like I have to always watch the cat. She's always trying to throw heavy objects on the dogs. That's her hobby in life. So um, let's get into this haul before they, there she goes. She's up. See, okay. All right, meow, meow. What are you going to do next? She's not usually in my videos, but because Max is like in one spot, she's very into, oh, 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 meow, 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 go, go. She doesn't usually do that, but because Max is tethered to the, she almost burned herself. That was really scary. 
She doesn't usually do that, but because Max is tethered to the door, she's like, here's my chance. It's a zoo in here, you guys. Don't worry, no animals were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen next. We will find out. Um, so let me get into this haul. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. Okay, she wants to go out. I'm gonna let the cat out before she does either hurt herself or hurt someone else. I literally cannot get enough of those Monster High books, but then I have some other kind of cool books to share with you guys. I found this book. And at first I was like, is this like porn? Is this even supposed to be here? It was weird, actually, the cover. Um, I thought it was like anime or I don't know what I thought it was. But I mean, look at the cover. It's like very boobalicious. Let's just say that much. And the back cover is pretty boobalicious too. But getting past that, I was really attracted to this. When you see some boobaliciousness in a book, you're like, what's going on in this book? So I did. And I'm like, what is this? But it turns out that it's called From the Pages of Fables, Fairiest, Wide and Awake. And what it is, is like modern day versions of fairy tale characters in like comic book form. And, uh, I bought it to read it. I don't even like, I don't know. There's something about it that I like. It's like very Amazon woman empowering. I don't even know, but I started reading it and I find it kind of interesting. So I had to buy it. I found this to be really funny. So I, I definitely had to pick it up. On the back of the book, one of the reviews, I think it's from MTV Geek. Little details that tickle your childhood fairy tale memories. I wholeheartedly recommend it and caution the remote viewing of the series through a magic mirror or crystal ball is considered piracy. So I thought that was like snarky. And I think that the book is probably snarky as well as boobalicious. We're not, I'm not going to lie. It does look like smut, but it's, it's interesting. I don't know. Sometimes I have to look at these things. I'm just intrigued. It's possible my son might want it. It's not too smutty for him to have it. So it was $1.25. I couldn't leave it there. It looks really cute. I really like the way that it's drawn. I like how the women look. They look really gorgeous. So I just had to write. I'm going to read it myself. I'm really, I'm really intrigued by it. If I read it and I don't think that it's like completely inappropriate, then when I see more of them, I'm going to pick a bunch of those up because donate them because I'm sure that some teenage boys would probably like a comic book about female fairy tale stories with boobalicious pictures. I'm sure. So I'm fine with that. You never know. There's kids of all ages at these things. And um, getting back on track with young Easter basket loving kids, I picked up tons and tons of really cute, super cute kids books. Now these are by the brand Albury Children's which I don't think is a Dollar Tree book. I don't think it's a, but I, I don't care. Actually, the stories are really, really cute. This one is like this and it's so cute. And it's called Dear Class by Amy Husband. And who is going to look after the class pet over the holidays? Michael is offering a balloon ride, but Nicholas is planning a pet versus humans soccer match. It's going to be a tough decision for Miss Brooks, a hilarious tale of rivalry, rabbits and friendship told through letters. So that's cute. I'm sure that little kids are going to love that story. And there's a but bottom line, there's an orange bunny on it. Who does not want that in a kid's Easter basket? You're giving them a bunny book for Easter and a carrot. I mean, kids should have books in their hands. I am a firm believer of that. So I love that. Even if they're borderline smutty books, if they're older kids, as long as they're reading, I'm okay with it. Obviously. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. That's why I'm reading it first. Look at how cute, by the way, that is. I did find the bunnies, but we're not really showcasing them yet because I don't want them to get crazy. But isn't it cute if you happen to pick one up and even stick it in an Easter basket with this book? How cute is that? We're already going somewhere with this, but um, I didn't buy a ton of brown bunnies. They're kind of hard to come by. Then I bought this one, Tiny Ranosaurus and the Neversaurus. Look at how cute that is. 
so the, on the back of this book, it says, many, many years ago, when fierce dinosaurs ruled the earth, the fiercest dinosaur of all was asleep. But when he wakes up, there is bound to be more manic mayhem. Uh-oh. Will Tiny and his friends find the Neverosaurus, or will they end up saying they never saw the Neverosaurus? I don't know, but it sounds like a good story to me. Don't you guys? And then there's this one. They're not the same, but they're obviously correlating stories. This whole variety of books came in one box. And um, this says Tyrannosaurus and the Bigfootosaurus. I'm not scared of silly Bigfootosaurus, roared Tiny. Little does he know that silly Bigfootosaurus isn't scared of him either. And he might not be very far away. Another brilliant Tiny adventure with the best-selling Tyrannosaurus Rex and his little dinosaur friends. That is so cute. Little boys are going to love it. And I kind of think that it's smart that they did dinosaur books in pink and purple because they're going to appeal to boys and girls, which is great in my opinion. Then they have Mess Monsters. Here's what that looks like. Mess monsters. There are mess monsters under the bed. When they're out, they'll smash, they'll crash, bang and clang, stomp and stamp. Most of all, they make a mess, but the mess monsters haven't met mommy yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Believe they might be telling a fib in that story. I think there's a mess monster in my house too, to be honest, and I haven't met him yet either. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes... <laughs> I wish that I could find the cleaning fairy that slays the mess monster because I really need that to happen in here. <laughs> but um, yeah, that hasn't happened yet, though. I'm sure there's a mess monster that lives under my bed, too, guys. And I'm grown up. So then they have this one, Munch, written and illustrated by Emma McCann. Look at how cute this one is. I don't know what this thing is, but it's adorable, whatever it is. I love things with elongated eyes like that. I don't know why I'm really drawn to them. On the back of this book, it says, there's a huge hungry monster on the loose eating everything in its path. Munch, the little monster, stays at home to guard his house. But will the massive muncher munch munch? Hmm. I hate to say it, but I think I have a munch monster too. <laughs> Definitely love munching. So that, now this one also opens this way. I don't know why, but I get a kick out of that. It's just a different way to turn the pages, and it's kind of interesting. And then this one says, Keep Out Top Secret Dear Miss by Amy Husband. She wrote the other book as well. And it says private. The cover is really cute. And um, this book says, With Everest, Alligators, Pirates, and Rocket Ships, this witty, authentic collection of letters from pupil Michael to his teacher gloriously marks Amy Husband's first contribution to the world of children's books. Oh, wow, that's so cute. So I guess one of her students, or she wrote a book. Oh my God, this is a really cute book. It's like written from the perspective of a student to the teacher, but it's really cute. Like, dear miss, I'm really sorry, but I'll actually be a couple of days late for school. We hired a motorbike and raced to the pyramids. Okay, this is super cute. I love it. I love it. Kids are going to love these books. I've bought tons of them. All the stores got them in and I bought handfuls of them, um, like 10 or 15 from every store. So I have a bunch of these to give out as well. Amazing books for a buck 25. I did show in a recent walkthrough these totes. I actually did not pick them all up. I have so many totes right now because I bought so many from the Christmas tree store that I decided to just pick this one up because it's amazing. It says, she is a dreamer, a doer, a thinker. She sees possibility with clouds. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love, love, love that bag. And I actually don't know why I didn't put my things in it when I bought it. Then, you guys, I found something that I was really excited to find. Um, I did find a, like a Harry Potter type book a couple of years ago at the Dollar Tree and never again. And then when I saw this, I was like, wow, I'm a sucker for anything Harry Potter. So um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I kind of wish my son would want it, but he's kind of over Harry Potter. I'm not though. On the back, it says, what would it be like to ride on the Hogwarts Express from King Cross's station, shop in Dragon Alley, be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses, attend a potions class and, and try out for Quidditch. 
kind of know what that would be like. If we've, if you've ever been to Disney's Harry Potter area, you know what that would be like, but how cool is that? This book is really, really cool. Um, it was actually originally, it was only $12.99 originally, and it's a hardcover book. That's what the back cover looks like. It's just, I'm, imp I'm impressed by it. It's a beautiful book. And, and look, there's the owl. I just love it. I love, I love it. I love it. I think it, I think I bought it for, I may have bought this book for myself. I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it has like all kinds of stuff that you could like add pictures. It, it's, it's almost like a picture journal. It's like a journal. It's amazing. Actually, it is a journal. Oh my God. I hope I find a lot of these. This is amazing. <gasps> I love it. It's like a teenage. Yeah, this is so cool. Look, it has all sorts of things. I, lo I love Harry Potter. I can't help it. I just love it. That If I had found a lot of these, I would have bought a lot of them. I would like to buy more. And what it is actually is a cinematic yearbook. Imagine, draw, and create. How amazing is that? Oh my gosh. I hope I find a lot of these. I was just really excited when I saw it. I thought it was just a book about the movie or had pictures or stills of the movie, but it's actually a giant journal. This is amazing. I hope I get more of these. Definitely young boys are going to love that. That is amazing. The next couple of things I have to share with you guys are like polar opposite sides of the spectrum because I am a very diverse girl. Um, I did pick up, they're both in metal tins, which is very exciting as well, but that's the only thing. And they're both DVD collections, but they are not created equal. This one is 20 hilarious episodes of the best of TV comedy. Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, Stu Edwin, Ann Southers, Joan Davis. And I love all those old TV series. So I'm going to love that. And it is in a metal tin. I just, I, I like to buy DVDs. I enjoy them. I think for $1.25, they are fun to have. And they're also fun, like if you go and you use a camper or if you go to the country and you have to use a DVD player. I donate DVD players. I sometimes find them at garage sales or eBay when they're older portable ones. And I like to have DVDs to give to people who don't have cable and are just starting out. There are people that are relocating and they don't have cable set up and they need stuff to watch and they can't always use their phone. If they have kids, um, you know, there have to be different things to watch. So I just like to pick things up like this and I'm going to watch it. I love old TV. I love old vintage styles. I like everything about stuff like this, but I also love raunchy, nasty Dane Cook. So I had to pick this up, you guys. If anybody out there knows who Dane Cook is, he's a comedian. And believe me, this is nothing like Mary Tyler Moore hilarious, although they both say that they're hilarious. Um, this is Dane Cook's Tourgasm, as seen on HBO. And it's a series, it says, a series that sees how far comedy can go. And believe me, they mean it. Because I I saw this, but I want to watch it again. For a buck and a quarter, I will definitely play this. 30 days, 20 shows, four comics, one bus, an entire country, three disc set with one full disc of extras, and it's called Dane Cook's Tourgasm. Now, this is definitely something that I can watch again and then add to a box of things that I can donate when somebody is looking for something to watch on a portable DVD player. They're definitely going to want to watch Dane Cook. Who doesn't like comedy when they're going through tragedy? It's like they go hand in hand. I did also pick this up. It is also an HBO series, and it's the first season of The Mind of a Married Man. And I kind of picked it up for that same reason. I remember watching some of it. I don't think I watched the whole series, but I remember watching a little of it. And I know that if someone has a portable DVD player, this is a lot of content. If they don't have anything else to watch, they can watch this first season. And then once they're situated, maybe they'll get cable or get the rest of it. But I figured for a buck and a quarter, that's good. So I picked this CD set up. It's a three CD set, unforgettable. When I fall in love in a sentimental mood, in the mood for love, I'll be seeing you, the look of love and more. And um, it, it is three CDs. It has a lot of classic, like my funny Valentine, 
um, embraceable you, unforgettable, misty, the look of love. It had to be you. Smoke gets in your eyes. I love that song. Lots of like love type songs, but um, I have an anniversary gift that I plan on giving a couple that I know and they're older. So I thought that it would be really cute to add this to it. I know that they love music like this and yeah, it's like a lot of songs that are much older to now. And I, I'll, I'll show you guys again if you want to pause it and look. Just a lot of really cool songs. So I thought that they would enjoy that. And for a dollar and a quarter, it's like a cute addition to their actual gift. I bought several of these. I thought they were hilarious. Um, it's called Dear Baby, I'm Sorry. Apologies for Life's Little Parenting Fails. And it's just the cutest book. I don't know what I'm doing with it exactly, but I might give it out to a lot of moms on Mother's Day. I think it's funny. It says, Dear Baby, sorry daddy doesn't realize a onesie is different than a shirt. Look at that. <laughs> that's that's cute. It says, Dear Baby, sorry I put you in the Exer saucer for an hour so I could try on shoes with different outfits. <laughs> well, we've all done that. There we go. And then this one says, Dear baby, sorry this has been out here so long you think it's your closet. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. See, that's hilarious. That's a good Mother's Day gift, I think. <laughs> oh my God, this one is the best. Dear baby, sorry I told daddy I had a fake errand so I could relax in a corner of West Elm with a bag of Doritos. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that is so hilarious. This is really cute. I think these are great new mom's Mother's Day gifts. Because you know what? We're human. We all have to make mistakes. We all do things that are questionable at times. And you know what? We all have to give ourselves some forgiveness and grace and move on and laugh about it. I think that honestly, laughing at the craziest things that happen in life is the best way to handle them. So I think that's great. Then I found this book, Amazing Stories of Courage and Inspiration. And I... I actually forgot to call this number. It says to watch an inspirational movie from this book, along with over 50 other uplifting movies, please visit the simple truth Uh, I don't know what it's about. I, I joked when I saw it, that it could be a cult. Then there's like a 1-800 number. If you would like to receive the movie for this book in an immediate digital download or DVD, please contact us. What is that about? But it's got so much, like, uplifting, positive stuff in it. Here's one. It says, fear is in the eye of the beholder. And then over here it says, in the bold part, as she struggled to gain her composure, she realized something even more horrifying. The 14-foot tiger shark had bitten clear through her board, taking her left arm in a single bite. At that moment in time, survival and not surfing became priority. On the back, it says, we all face adversity in our life. And so many times, it's how we react to it that will determine our destiny. Finish Strong is a great book with amazing stories about people from all walks of life who, in the face of adversity, succeed against all odds, prepare to be inspired. Okay, you know what? I'm going to love this because obviously they might have made like little documentaries about all of these people in here. Wow, that's a great item. That is an amazing book for $1.25. I love stuff like that. Absolutely love it. I love that I can get something like this for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. It's worth $1.25. Next, I have um, a bunch of rebuys. You guys know the Linda Loma line. Turns out my son is really interested in eating a little healthier. So I picked these up for him. This is the Italian bolognese with konjac noodles. Uh, he definitely is going to like that. He likes anything that has red sauce. And even though it's like plant-based protein, he'll eat it. Um, and this one, the chipotle bowl with black beans. I'm sure he's going to like that as well. Um, now, the Dollar Tree had these a while ago. But since they raised their prices, these are in abundance everywhere. So... That's cool because they didn't have tons of them before. Now they have also gotten back in the Greek bowl with chickpeas and olive oil and brown rice. 
This is delicious. I absolutely love this with some salmon on the side. This is a killer dish right here. And then they also have the Hawaiian bowl with pineapple and brown rice. Really delicious also. Um, I love the rice. They're both brown rice. And um, the other ones are like quick meals for my son that he can fend for himself. Like if he's hungry, he can handle just cooking this and eating it for 60 seconds. He's at that microwave cooking age. I hope I haven't bored you guys to death yet. Um, a couple more DVDs so I can actually watch them. I love all things aquatic. I really do. I love the ocean. It's really relaxing to me. I love to see things about sea life. And although it might be crazy, I'm going to watch these. I love these kind of DVDs. This is As Seen on Animal Planet and Discovery Channel. Um, this is called The Power of an Ocean Beyond High Definition. It was originally 3 for $10. It's a Blu-ray, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to love this. I know it has penguins on the back and dolphins, and I know I am going to love, absolutely love this DVD. Let me see what it says underneath here. There's a sticker. I'm going to take the sticker off so I can read it. It says that it was the winner of the Wildlife Film Festival, <laughs> but you know what? That means it's good. I'm sure I'm going to love that. Then this one, this one is by Lloyd Bridges. Now, I remember growing up watching Lloyd Bridges, and it says the best of collection focuses on the underwater adventure. So this is old school. I'm going to love it anyway. I do have a couple of really amazing food finds besides my rebuys of the Linda Loma. I found these and I showed them in my last walkthrough and I was astounded, you guys. Schneider's of Hanover pretzels that are flavored, they usually have the small bags. Like, I think they're two servings, but technically I eat the whole bag, honestly. But this is a full-size bag. This is 11 and a quarter ounces, you guys, 11.25. And these are the cheddar cheese pieces. These are so good. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. I, I love these pretzels. They're one of my favorite pretzels. They're like that. You know, they also have the like onion ones, um, mustardy onion ones. These are the cheddar cheese ones. These are amazing. And they're usually like five bucks a bag. It doesn't, does it say? It usually, I, I usually pay $4.99 for these. And I buy them on the regular. They are a third of a cup for 140 calories. They're not like a low-cal snack in any way, but they're so good. My favorite kind of pretzel. I did show these in a walkthrough, and I was like, oh, yeah, I couldn't even contain my excitement. Um, and since then, I've been scooping them up everywhere I see them. At $1.25, I think this is a good deal. At Aldi's, they do sell um, shelf-stable pomegranate juice that is made from concentrate. And I want to say it's $6 for maybe like 20. It's honestly, it's not cheaper than getting it like this. I love that these are individual glass bottles. Um, I just can't say enough about it. I First of all, I'm drinking one right now on ice. It is so tart and delicious. It doesn't have any sugar added to it. Uh, Color-free preservative-free, gluten-free, ethically sourced. I'll show you guys the label right there so you can see it. Um, it's by it's by Nature's Goodness, 100% pomegranate juice, 60 calories. And you can tell that it doesn't have color added. It's, it's very, very pure for a drink made from concentrate. It's a product of Azerbaijan bottled in Russia. And I actually love both flavors. Um, the Super Berry Power Blast is 45 calories, full of antioxidants. Nature's goodness. I, I just can't explain to you guys how happy I get when I see these. Everywhere I see them, I buy five bottles. I just can't resist it. I feel like it's a great item to have in your pantry for even, even adding to desserts, drinking. I mean, I like, I just like drinking it, but you can do stuff with it, but I literally am enjoying it right now. It's, I just have one a day, but I feel like it's really good for you. It is full of antioxidants and 
A dollar twenty-five is really cheap. I'd rather have this than a soda. It's super tart. I love it. I had a feeling that these were going to be delicious, so I picked up three boxes of them because I bet you they're going to fly off the shelves. But these Choco Shocks look delicious. They're not from America. They're made in the Ukraine. I automatically knew that that meant they were going to be super yummy. It says that you get three full-size chocolate-covered wafer bars with hazelnut filling. And look, look at that. Let's, let's open it up and see what's in here. I don't know if anybody else has opened it up, but I always open food products and check them out and smell them and do everything there is to do with them on my channel. These don't expire until September 26th of 2022. And I I don't know. They look really good. Doesn't that look really, really good, guys? Let's bust it open. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to taste it. Then I'm going to give the rest to my son. Um, they do smell. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is. That's cute. My son is definitely going to like that. Those taste super European. They're not my favorite because you guys know that I don't love chocolate the most, but my son is going to love that for sure. Um, you know what I wanted to share with you guys really quickly? The next thing that I want to share with you guys is I did show in my one of my last haul. I think it was my last haul. I shared with you guys a bunch of belts that I had bought. And I told you that I was going to DIY my slides. Well, here they are, guys. Don't they look cute? Look at how cool that is. I E6000 the bow from the belt. So it's two belts. So that was $2.50. And my slides are from when these were a dollar. This is my rendition of Prince and the Revolution Apollonia meets the Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's what these are. I love how they came out. They're so comfy and adorable. And basically they cost me $3.50 plus, I don't know. I just happen to have tons of these little um, cameos from different things that I've picked up along the way in my like junk jewelry box. Um, I could even do other slides with other embellishments from belts that I find at the Dollar Tree. This is like my new obsession. I love, love, love how they look. And... For $3.50, this is, like, adorable. They really do remind me of, like, Apollonia and Prince and the Revolution, for sure. Um, then I did pick up the plates. They're kind of food-related. 12 paper plates in the spring fling section. You guys know that I cannot pass up disposable kitchen stuff of any kind. But these... I would have bought these for more money at the Christmas tree store or anywhere else. This pattern is unbelievable looking. Um, I do realize that they are cheaper at Family Dollar and Dollar General, but sometimes it is just convenient to buy them at the Dollar Tree. And some things even out. I don't buy everything, but I, I can't resist paper products. So I love, love, love this plate. It is so pretty. Isn't that print so gorgeous. I have not yet seen this print in a napkin. I hope they make it because I'm going to buy that napkin too because I have napkin issues and sunglass issues. But these are beautiful. I can't wait to see the rest of the spring fleeing stuff. So far, I am loving everything I've seen. I love the kitchen linens. I, I just love it all. I love those colors and I love what they're doing. I love everything I'm seeing so far, but I'm not seeing that much. That's what's annoying me. It's not coming in quickly. Um, I did find this by Cake Boss. It says, hey, I'm baking here. Four piece work truck set, fondant cookie cutter press. Now, um, I am not a baker, you guys. I bought two of these. One for some kids I know. I think they will enjoy playing that with Play-Doh. And I'm going to put this away because I am hoping to see more Cake Boss stuff. And maybe I'll collect enough to do a Cake Boss giveaway. 
But this is like me hoping and wishing and dreaming because I haven't seen any more Cake Boss stuff since I saw this. But I just have a feeling that where there's one, there will be more. I did pick up two of these metal cone wreath forms. And these do have like Christmas trees on them. But they actually came into the Dollar Trees after Christmas. To be honest with you guys, I did buy these last year and they're somewhere in my attic. But I couldn't find them. And at Easter time, I did a DIY of a topiary built on a traffic cone. The large traffic cone that the Dollar Tree gets in sometimes. Not the little one, the like legit size one. And um, I loved how that topiary came out, like an Easter topiary. So I was thinking that I would do two Easter topiaries on these. It might be a little more challenging because there's empty spaces, but I feel like it'll look really nice on these. So I'm going to try that. And let me know in the comments down below if you were subscribed to my channel when I made that awesome topiary, because honestly, it's like the best DIY I ever did. It was beautiful. And I was so proud of it. And I am I'm speaking of it in past tense because you guys actually, oh wow, it's so crazy that the cat was here today, so you'll believe me. See how my life is such a coincidence after the next? Um, my topiary was on my mantle and Meow Meow. It was another day that I had tethered Max to the door because uh, we were bringing in the groceries and we had gone to the meat market, so that would have been just a nightmare. So he was tethered that day too. And I had the topiary on the mantle and my cat, her name is actually Marmalade, but we call her Sergeant Meowski. <laughs> so Sergeant Meowski saw her opening in her war against the dogs. And she pushed the topiary down and Max ate almost half of it within a matter of seconds. So that happened. And um, obviously Easter hasn't been here for me to repair it. But I was thinking that instead of repairing it, I would remake it on these cones because... I don't know. I feel like it'll come out better, but it was the best DIY I've ever done. It's the best thing I've ever made in my whole life. It was so beautiful. If I can find that topiary video, I'm going to share it because I'm literally eternally proud. Actually, last year, two DIYs that I made are my favorite DIYs that I've ever made. And I'm going to share the other one with you guys right now. I'm going to get it. I had made this one last year, but you will notice I did use Valentine's items for my Easter decor because I love to do things in hearts or use the word love and this just says bunny with galvanized metal but I had some something in here that I'm going to be replacing with these adorable moss bunnies because these also met their fate to Mabel actually the only thing is that I'm going to replace all three of them because I noticed that the bunnies colors are different this year from last year I kind of like last year's color better, but you know what? That's okay. Our, I think that these bunnies are so adorable. Things like this at Michael's are not $1.25. They're, I feel like this would be like $3.99 or $4.99 and you'd have to hunt for a coupon and you get three bunnies. So you get two the same and one standing bunny. I think that's so, so adorable. Maybe it's okay that they're various colors. Maybe I'll leave that one there. But I, I definitely was like, oh, I hope they bring those moss bunnies back because I really loved that DIY that I did. I actually was very proud of this DIY. I think it's like pretty darn good for me. I actually accomplished it. These are from the Valentine stuff that is obviously way past, but I actually bought them to put into the this year's topiary of my Easter egg tree with moss and like a little forest. And I thought I might add these in this year. So I picked these up, but I never shared them and they've seen better days, but those will be in my topiaries as well. I did pick up three of each one of these American seed micro greens. And, um, I love these. We grew these all summer, almost into the fall last year so much salad for basically a dollar 25 a bag 
so many it like it we cut it and it would grow back we cut it and it would grow back so it was so worth the money um, my husband does have a green thumb that's for sure and it's micro greens hot mix it's so delicious I even shared in my community tab like what it looked like as it was growing our salads that we were eating it was bountiful and this is the micro greens mild mix we love these it's very well worth the money um, I did not use the Dollar Tree soil. We bought organic soil and grew it in organic soil, and it was delicious. I picked up this Welcome Bunny Gnome sign. I'm going to actually stick it outside on one of my long planters because I just think it's really cool. And eventually, I'm sure the Dollar Tree will have a different sign that I'll put on the other side. But this one's going to go outside they don't survive the season, but it's okay for a dollar twenty-five. I like to put different items outside, and the weather, of course, destroys them. But during that time frame, it'll look really cute, and I think that it's a really cute sign. I love the glitter. I love. I love the. I love everything about it for outdoors. It's really pretty. So let me just tell you guys. I hold the white version of this. I did buy this and I have to say I regret buying the white version of this because I don't think I like the white one nearly as much as I like this one. It's much more sturdy, but also you don't even just have to put your brooms on this one. It's so sturdy. You can use it for other things. You can, for $1.25, you could use it this way and hang stuff on it like hooks, um, even bags maybe, hang it in the closet and put your shopping bags or you could use it many different ways. I can just see that it's well made and I just feel like you can put other things in here. Maybe um, like shampoo bottles or cleaning products. You could put other stuff in here for sure. The way that this is made, it's made amazing. I feel like you can put this inside of your cabinet, maybe... I don't know what else, maybe utensils, but I could definitely see using this for other stuff. This is really well made, definitely worth $1.25. The other one is a big thumbs down now, at least for me, now that I saw this one, much better product. This item, I did swatch a couple of hauls ago, and it's called Pretty and Plum. That's the color, number 405. And um, the reason that I'm rehauling this is because I had a subscriber, Rhonda. Rhonda had won a giveaway um, because she actually knew, wow, what a coincidence. Again, the cat, I just told you guys and I just pulled this out of the bag. That is so crazy how these things kind of happen to me. But she actually knew my cat's name. She knew the cat's name was Marmalade. She's been a subscriber. Rhonda has been subscribed to my channel for a long, long time. And she won a giveaway, but then she graciously passed on it because she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. And then Southern Mimi, who, um, whose name is actually Tanya, she won the giveaway. So she got her giveaway. But then I noticed Rhonda saying that she liked this lipstick and that it was similar to one that you, Rhonda, had worn by Mary Kay. So when I saw it again in the store, because it was not a lot of this one, Pretty and Plum, I'm almost positive that's the one you loved. I picked it up because... You're not getting away that easy. This is coming to your house because you technically won and I'm going to make sure that you get that. So that's for Rhonda. I did find a bunch of L'Oreal Infallibles lipsticks and actually coincidentally again, um, today I happen to be wearing one of my favorite, actually the only favorite that I had. All of the other colors were just way too dark for me, but this color I happen to love. I'm wearing it today. It is the Infallible Paints by L'Oreal, the Metallics ones. And this was Cherry, I think it's called. This was number 338 Cherries. Um, I love this color. It's like almost like a hot pink, but almost like a red. And it is called Cherry. So as you guys can see, it's sort of red. It's definitely metallic. Um... I love shiny metallic lipsticks. I don't like shiny, but I love metallic, if that makes any sense. And sparkly lipsticks, I also like, but not like 
glosses. I don't usually like like glossy lipsticks unless they're metallic or glittery. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. But um, these lipsticks, I got so excited when I found these. Also, let me just show you guys this item really quick because I think it's a phenomenal find. That I bought it two of them because I just can't handle how cool they are. It is in the bathroom department of the Dollar Tree, like where they keep their soap dispensers and stuff. And look, it has a little ledge for small items, medium ledge for this size. And then this, you could put whatever you want. You can put um, lip brushes in it, uh, pens in it, whatever you want to put in here, you could put in here. You have, like, I know a lot of people use beauty sponges and stuff like that. You can put them here and it's just amazing. You could put your lipsticks in here on this height. Just, this is a great item for $1.25. I love it. And they also have this, which I think is also fabulous. Really, I love this as well. This is so cool. They do have it taped shut. So I'm just going to show you guys how cute is that? You could put anything you want in here. I bought three of them. It closes, not like obviously, it, it's not like an airtight closure, but it closes very nicely for cotton balls, Q-tips. It's just amazing that it's clear. I love it. I love this. And if you feel like painting it, you can hydro dip this into all kinds of awesome mermaid colors. And even this one, you could do all sorts of fun things with these. They're acrylic. They're so cool. Okay, so now that you guys saw this thing and know what it is that I'm holding the makeup in, I'm going to show you guys these lipsticks because, I don't know, what I definitely know for a fact that I don't like is that they're not sealed. They are not sealed, you guys. And when these came into the Dollar Tree, these came in on a card. And I love it when things come in on a card. Obviously, this is not a lipstick, but I'm saying like on a card, sealed. Um, these happen to be earbuds that are fabric covered. Anytime the Dollar Tree gets these fabric covered styles in, I always pick up a handful because my son actually loses his headphones before they break when I buy him these. Otherwise, if I don't buy these fabric covered ones, they just break every day. But this is a really cute pair. It's like rainbow color. I couldn't resist it. So I did pick up a few of those. Um, they also have like tie dye ones now, but the fabric covered ones are fabulous. Definitely those get a major thumbs up from me. They work really well. They don't break, which is kind of amazing to me. I wish that more people knew that and nobody bought the other kinds so the Dollar Tree would step it up. Um, now, okay, so these didn't come sealed. They come in a lot of colors. And I did show you guys that they had like a handful of nudes, which is... You know, nudes are a tough thing to deal with because everybody is very picky about their specific nude lipstick, but I'm going to show you guys all that I, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all that I picked up and I'm, I'm going to swatch them so that if you guys do want them, you kind of know what they look like. So, um, I guess I'm going to determine it this way. It's 340, 342, 344, 346. 348 and 350 and this is number 350 right here and this is number 340 so we'll start with 340 and work our way to dark that's number 340 right there and the color is called skinny dip so that's very light it's kind of peachy that's what that looks like it's very peachy it is definitely matte I don't like that it's not sealed it has a little bit of an odor to it. These might be old. I'm going to check the next one. This one is number 342. It's called Tongue Tied. It's a really pretty color. Let's see what the condition of this one is. It's also a matte. Wow, I love that color. That's a really nice color. I actually love matte matte nude lipstick I just love this one is number 344 and this one is kind of like a burnt peach looking color it's actually called peach pit so that's kind of appropriate 
It, it, it's like a burnt, pe it's got like a little peachiness to it. That one's very, wow, I love that one. I actually almost want to try that one on. That one is really, really pretty. I love it. Literally love that color. That's a really pretty color. Then we have number 346. And this one is called Festival, which makes me feel like this is like a boho 70s kind of lip color. I kind of like this color too. I don't know. We shall see. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's really pretty. That, I think I'm tied between these two, actually. The last two, Peach Pit and Festival, are kind of, Festival, I think I like Festival more. I think I might like the name Festival a lot, too. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. And then this one is 346. It's called Velvet Pout. I have a feeling I won't like this one. It's too gray. Like, I feel like it's kind of gray. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, actually, that one's beautiful. It's like, that one's really pretty. Isn't that, isn't that one really pretty? It's like a, it's like a matte plum. It's very pretty. None of these look nude. That's the craziest thing. Out of the package, these don't look anything like what you expect them to. So this is the last of the kind of nudes. And this one's not really a nude, but it's definitely matte. I have a feeling I'm going to love this one, but I don't know because I actually kind of love that one, which I'm shocked about. This one is called Cinnabom, which I love the name alone. It makes me love it. And it's number 350. Let's check that one out, guys. Okay, no, I love that one. That That's a gorgeous color. I love Cinnabom. Cinnabom is the bomb. I am about to put Cinnabom on <laughs> in a second. I'm going to try it on. That's how much I like it. Um, but I have so many things to swatch. There's no time to try anything on. Um, now we have number 326, Sultry Sangria. That is a very nice berrylicious color. I have a feeling I'm going to love some sultry sangria too. Sultry sangria is beautiful. Wow. But you know what? Cinnabom and yeah, these three actually are really very unique. Very, They're all really nice. The L'Oreal Infallibles line is actually pretty nice makeup. Um, I just didn't like the other colors. They were way too dark, and some of them were weird. There were, like, blues that came in the last time, and just colors I don't wear as lipstick. But I have to say that this batch is very enticing. This one is number 302. It's called Violet Twist, and I suspect that this color is not for me, but I will swatch it for... The purple lipstick lovers on my channel because I don't usually do purple lipstick, but let's see about that one. Well, it's definitely a pretty purple and it's not matte. It's a shiny lipstick. It's really nice. I definitely love three, these three mattes the most. Cinnabomb could be my favorite. And then Sultry Sangria is gorgeous. I really like it. Um, I don't think I would do Violet Twist, but the Sultry Sangria and the Violet Twist, those are no longer mattes. They're just regular shiny lipsticks. So I don't really like shiny lipsticks either, but I do like the Sultry Sangria's color. Now, now we're moving into some very exciting shades. This is like beautiful summer lipstick gear right here. Beautiful. We have number 324, which is called DIY Red. That is really, really pretty. Number 320, which is called Coral. So those are two super pretty summer colors right there. Then we have number 318, Fearless Fuchsia. And we have number 322, which is just straight up called Orange. I'm going to swatch those up here because I've run out of space. We'll do 322 Orange first. 
yeah. Oh, I love that orange. I love the orange. I would completely and totally love that orange and would wear it for sure. I love, I love orange lipstick in the summer. For real, it's one of my favorites. So Fearless Fuchsia, have a feeling I might like that too. Although I really love the Drew Barrymore um, pop fanatic kind of fuchsia. Oh my God, that is like, a crazy 80s, like, bubblegum pink. That is so pretty. That would look so beautiful on, like, a platinum blonde or a dark-skinned woman. That is gorgeous. Then we have the coral. Let's see what the difference between coral and orange is because I feel like the tubes, they look very similar. They're very different in real life. Wow, those are both really pretty. My gosh, this is amazing. They gave us so many colors to choose from. And now, bum, 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 bum. Of course, you guys know that I'm going to love DIY red. I just love red lipstick. I have a funny feeling that I'm super going to love this one, though. I wish this was matte because I love matte lipstick. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I might not like it because I love um, the one that I'm wearing today, the Infallibles paint that is metallic. Let's see. <gasps> no, 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 no. I love that red. That is a gorgeous red. In fact, I have to try that red on. I did take off my lipstick and I, this red, this red is beautiful. It is like almost like a hot pink red, but it's a crazy nice red. Definitely summer red. I, but I love it. It's really pretty. Then I want to share with you guys, you guys, when I found these Rimmel eyeshadows, I almost passed out. I, I really, I was actually on a conference call with my son's school um, because he actually made high on a roll and there was like a whole bunch of stuff going on with his school. But um, I was on a conference call with my son's school and I almost like just wanted to be like, I, I, I get it, but I have to call you people back because I just found palettes at the Dollar Tree. But of course I didn't do that, but I wanted to do that. This palette right here is amazing. This is my prob possibly my favorite. It's called the Crimson Edition 007. And I actually used it today on my eyes. Not this one, because this one I have in my Springtime in Paris giveaway. So I'm not going to swatch this one, but I do have... The one that I used on my eyes that I'm going to swatch. I'm actually going to go grab it. Okay, so this is the one that I used. Um, I mean, I only used it once. But I can tell you guys right now that the colors that I have on my eyes are this pink right here. And these two colors right here. And this palette is beautiful. It does come with the dual-ended... Um, it, it, it actually comes with a nice kind of... a. I like this brush not bad. I don't really use these. These don't work for me. I'd rather use my finger, but I'm going to swatch this for you guys. Hmm. I don't know where to swatch anything. I'm kind of swatched out, but I'm going to swatch it anyway. Um, cause I feel like this palette is just, there's so many gorgeous colors in here. Isn't that a beautiful palette? So let's start with the lightest. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? It is. There it is. That is like inner corner action or highlight. I should have put that actually in my highlight. Um, I didn't use it actually for highlight. I used that one, but this one would have been even better as the highlight. Yep. That's so pretty. I love, I love it. I love that color. I don't know why I didn't use that one for my highlight. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous, deep color. Cause that, I probably use that one tomorrow. That's so pretty too. I, this reminds me of the hard candy palette feeling mauve, which I happen to use like almost on a daily basis. I love that palette. I like to mix it with, um, metallic. -y. I, look at how beautiful that is. I love burgundy and pink eyeshadows. They happen to be, that is a really pretty Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. Then we'll, we'll, we'll swatch this one now. Look at how pretty all of those are. Those are for real gorgeous. 
This palette is no joke. And then I'll swatch this like smoky kind of brown one because, you know, you always have to add a little like brown to those to give your eyes a little depth. And then I'm going to swatch the kind of hot pink one, which I do have a little bit of that one actually in my eyes too today. Look at how, look at how beautiful that palette is. That's a gorgeous palette. Plus, um, you could do your eyebrows with that right there. Well, I did my eyebrow with that. And it worked fine. It it was perfect. So I love this palette. I think that I think for a dollar twenty-five, it was a steal. And I mean, there are some colors, you know, when you buy an inexpensive palette, even even expensive palettes, sometimes the colors are a little redundant, but that's okay because if you fall in love with a color, then you could start using the one that's a little redundant until you find a replacement. But I happen to think that this is a beautiful palette. Let's just watch this one too because I didn't try that one and I bet you it's gorgeous. Yeah. See, they're a little similar to each other but not too similar. They're... See, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. I love, I love the colors in this palette. Completely and totally in love with Crimson. It's beautiful. Here is a totally random fun fact. Where I see the word crimson, it reminds me of Robert Smith from The Cure because the lipstick that he used to smear all over his face for years was called Cranberry Crimson Red. And I remember reading that in an article and it just stayed in my head forever. So whenever I see that, I'm like, oh, crimson, like The Cure. <laughs> I did also pick up the Spice Edition which is number 005, and that is beautiful palette as well. And this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. It's number 009, Jewel Rocks. Do you guys see that? Absolutely, insanely gorgeous palette. It's insanely gorgeous. So we're going to swatch this one, and we're going to quickly swatch the Jewel Rocks palette, and probably I will swatch the Spice palette in my next haul because this is probably getting to be a very long... Oh my God, you guys. Look at that palette. That is to die for. We're going to swatch this one right here. Oh boy. Yeah, look at that. That is, that is inner corner action all the way. That is gorgeous. Super shimmery. Really, really pretty perfect inner corner action. And then, you know, this color right here is very interesting. It's like a light lime green. You don't really see like a yellow with a hint of green. It's very, very pretty. See, wow, that's, that's beautiful. I, this is a really beautiful palette. Then there are these two yellows. One is metallic and one isn't. Of course, I'm going to swatch the metallic one. You guys already know that I, I love some shimmer and shiny shadows. You guys know that, right? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Then there's like two greens. One is matte and one is metallic. And I like, I like that they, this palette is flawlessly gorgeous. You know what? You could like literally survive on this palette. If it was the only palette you could have, you could live on it. Oh my goodness. Look at that green. <gasps> okay, so we're going to put the matte. I have to see. I love green. Love green eyeshadow so much. So this is the matte green and this is the metallic green. Isn't it? This palette is incredible. <gasps> I, I'm in love. But then it goes from these beautiful earthy tones to these like Santa Fe earthy tones to these blues. So let's, I'm going to swatch those like peachy, earthy Santa Fe sort of colors. And uh, they're, wow, the metallic -y peach is beautiful. Those are the two metallic -y peach colors. I've run out of space on my body. Those are gorgeous shades. You know what? This may be my favorite. Crimson is the one that I use today, but I kind of am loving this palette even more than Crimson because you have so many possibilities. And I have a feeling the blues are going to be amazing. I have to find a spot to swatch them in, though. I'm going to have to swatch the blues on this hand. I've run out of space. 
This is the metallic. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Are you guys seeing the color? And it's, it's well pigmented. Look at that. The metallic blue is, that's amazing. And this is the darker matte blue. Wow, those are, that, that metallic blue is the most beautiful blue I've ever seen. And those are gorgeous. Okay. Do, do you guys see that? That is amazing looking. So it's like that. The matte is the darker blue and the metallic is the sky gorgeous, beautiful blue. That's beautiful. Honestly, this palette is so nice. I'm swatching every single color. I am. This is the last two, the yellow and the green. We're going to swatch those next. Wow. Those are, those are beautiful as well. This is an incredible looking palette. That if I had no, even, you could do any look you want with this palette. This is an amazing, I'm filthy. Like I literally am filthy. I look like I've been finger painting, but I have been. And I've, look, I have, I have so many colors all over me. I love, love, love that. When I have this much stuff on me, that means that I got the jackpot at the Dollar Tree. Because when I find palettes, that's how I feel. Like I've hit a jackpot. I'm going to be swatching the spice in my next haul and I'm going to go wash my hands, guys. I did pick up a couple of these refillable by the brand Neon Butane Lighters. I just love having a surplus of these. They're so useful and... Um, I'm always lighting candles and I just, I feel like they're really good for that. Then you guys, I do have these guys and um, I know that there are so many people out there that love, love, love the gnomes. So I picked these up for you guys. My um, Easter aesthetic is going to be orange and green, like more traditional. And um, I do love gnomes, but I feel kind of confused by the gnome bunnies. I don't, I just, I don't know how I feel about them. I like gnomes and I like bunnies. I just love these bunnies, these like shelf sitting bunnies. I love them because they're bunnies and I loved the Valentine's gnomes, but this like cross between a gnome and a bunny, I don't know how I feel about them. I really am like very confused by them and I picked them up for you guys. There may or may not be a pop-up giveaway coming up in this haul so stay tuned guys but they are I have to say that I love the prints on them I love that it's like polka dotted striped and zigzag it's like how you would paint your easter eggs so that is really cute they are cute they're just not as well made as the valentine's gnomes and and they do need a little zhuzhing they do they need a little tlc but I picked these up for you guys like I said there is a giveaway here and um I did find these at the Dollar Tree, and I've been looking for them for a while. They are gorgeous. Can you believe that the Dollar Tree has actual, like, full-size beaded wood garland with tassel and embellishment, everything? On Amazon, something like this is, like, $16, $9 at the cheapest level. So to get this for $1.25, you guys unbelievable even has like gingham grow grain yellow ribbon how beautiful is that with the jute cord tassel and this one is a chickadee and the colors are beautiful these are gorgeous definitely remarkable i am shocked that the dollar tree made these these are the best they've ever made amazing and then look at the color scheme of this one that's the dogs are playing with a, a toy. That's that sound. And then there's beautiful jute tassel on this one as well. But this one has pink grow grain gingham ribbon. I absolutely love that. And a cute pink bunny. It's truly impressive. I am very, very impressed by this. For real. For real. I think they've outdone themselves. But my heart belongs to this giant carrot looking one. I just love it. It's so cute, kitschy, and campy, and I think it's gorgeous. I love orange, so how could I not love this? It's just perfect. So 
perfect for Easter. It's beyond perfect. Then I showed these in my walkthrough, and I think that these are phenomenal. The um, packaging is amazing. Amazing, you guys. They are by the brand called V&A. They're lip balms in tins. I did do a shorts video, so if anybody out there saw them, they would scoop them up because they're so small, you might just miss them. But they're remarkably nice. I have to say remarkably nice. I am amazed with them. And what they are is their design, their tin design is actually a William Morris textile. William Morris is like a famous textile designer. <gasps> Mac, Mac saw the gnomes. I'm going to have to end this video really soon because he's getting very excited. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> he's so bad. Maxie, go sit for just a little while. Good boy. Good sitting. You're doing good sitting, Maxie. No. No. You're standing. No. You cannot have the gnomies. He wants to kill the gnomies in the worst way, guys. Gonna have to hurry. He sees the gnomies. Maxie, sit. No, you can't have the gnomes just for sitting. You're just gonna sit, Max. That's what you're gonna do. So, um, the lip, the lip tin pattern is a famous wallpaper textile print from William Morris, who is like a British designer, and they're all really beautiful. Really beautiful. Uh, I just, I'm amazed that they're at the Dollar Tree. And this one is um, Sweet Honey. That's what it looks like inside. It's just like a little sweaty. You guys know how those things are. Mm, sweet Honey smells like pralines. Really nice. It's It just smells very nice. Beautiful, in fact. So, so pretty. Beautiful Mother's Day gift. Easter basket gift birthday any and there's other ones floating around there's other items i've seen people hauling floating around i'm on the hunt for everything i want all of it i'm obsessed with this and this is in floral mint look at that beautiful packaging i'm obsessed it kind of smells you know what it smells like lavender mint that is so exciting actually Floral mint makes sense. Be it's beautiful. I love them. I can't say anything bad about these. They're lovely. Absolutely lovely. And now we have orchard pear. And that packaging could be my favorite. Oh, yes. Look, look at that. Look at that packaging. Isn't that so pretty? So, so pretty. Wow. That smells amazing. What is that one again? Orchard pear. It smells amazing. I'm going to try this one. It tastes good too. That's, I just put a little on because I have lipstick on, but it even has like a slight sweet taste to it. It's really, really beautiful. It just, it's, it looks high end. It looks like you, they feel, I feel like they remind me of the kind of little delightful pickups that you would get from like a museum shop or like a little like a little artisanal gift shop somewhere when you go on like a little bed and breakfast tour. That's what they remind me of. Those weird little amazing items that you find in those little novelty shops. That's what these remind me of. I love them. I love them. They don't seem like they're from the Dollar Tree. They're really a cut above anything I've seen at the Dollar Tree. And then I did pick up these solar lights. I happen to love these solar lights. I think that they're beautiful. I have heard people say that they don't really shine like a bright light. They don't. Um, they kind of glow, but they look super pretty at night. The glow is like colored like the plastic. And it definitely shines really brightly in that glow in a pot. So if you have like a shrub or something, like a low shrub in a pot, and you tuck these into your shrub, at night when you're walking past it, it'll have these pretty like glowing flowers in it. So I love these. And I'm gonna probably be including some of these in the giveaway as well, because I know not everybody finds those and I think that they're amazing. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the camera over and I'm gonna show you guys everything in the giveaway. 
And then you guys will come back and I'll say my goodbyes. Are you guys wondering what you get in this giveaway? First and foremost, you get one in every color of these amazing flower solar lights. I just love them. Then you get this book, The Power of Sprinkles. This is such a fun book full of colorful, beautiful, very Easter-like recipes that I think a lucky subscriber might enjoy. Then you get a set of these Easter pastel bunny gnomes. And along with these bunny gnomes, of course, what giveaway would be complete without the coordinating color, beautiful wooden beaded tassel from the Dollar Tree. This is just one of my favorite finds of the season. This giveaway also has one of these super gorgeous, I love this pencil pouch. I think it's perfect for small amounts of makeup. And I also think it's very Eastery and spring-like. So of course, we're not going to put a pencil pouch or a makeup bag in a giveaway without putting some stuff in it. So what's going to go in here, guys? One of these very beautiful velvet mousse lipsticks by Hard Candy in the lip tin. This is number 1217, Forget Me Not. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This one happens to be a very, very beautiful color. There it is. Very perfect for the spring, and it does have the mirror. That goes right in the makeup bag. Then I am including a pack of these super spring-like kiss nails. You get 24, so that's perfect for the spring season manicure. I'm also including in this giveaway one of these Wet n' Wild poster child. Look at those colors. Those are perfect for the good weather to come. Also included in this giveaway are two of these Savvy Minerals eyeshadow brushes. Perfect for the poster child. Very good item to have with your eyeshadow collection. I did find this time and true pretty little blessed keychain in my last Walmart haul and I think it matches this Easter themed giveaway just perfectly. The lucky subscriber who wins this giveaway will also get one of each of these v &A lip balms because I just love them, absolutely love them, and I know you will too. Also included in this giveaway, you will get the Hyaluronic Acid by Korean Beauty Bubble Face Mask. I just love bubble masks, and I hope you do too. Also included in this giveaway is one of the Alpha Line Fashion Camera Cases. I have been using this to hold my credit cards, and I think that it's a perfect addition to these fun Easter spring colors. I love this patent leather purple, and I think you'll enjoy using it for a credit card holder as well. Then I do have a pair of these cushy foot flats to go for the lucky winner of this giveaway because I just think that that's a really fun item to have in your Dollar Tree collection. And last but not least, from my Big Lots haul, I am including one of these LA Colors Limited Edition 12 Days of Makeup Advent Calendars. This is a really fun item. It does have a really nice variety of items to open up and check out. So yep, that's included in the giveaway too. So that is a lovely Easter basket full of items, but no Easter basket is complete without some sweets, right? I agree. Just in case your Dollar Tree doesn't get these Choco Shocks, the winner of this giveaway will get a box of these as well, so you can try them and see if you like them on your own. Oh wait, guys, I almost forgot. I'm also including these Find Your Calm Mindfulness cards to help you relieve anxiety and find mindfulness. Includes 24 cards. These are from Five and Below. I think these are awesome, and they're also included in this Easter-themed giveaway. That's it, guys. That's everything I've included in this week's giveaway. Good luck, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, guys, you know the drill. You have to be over 18, must be subscribed to my channel. You must write hashtag bunny gnomes in the comments down below. Maxie, I'm almost done, buddy. You cannot have the gnomes. You cannot have the gnomes. He's going to, like, hang himself. Maxie, you cannot. Maxie, no. He wants the gnomes so badly. This is why he's tethered. Oh, Mabel wants the gnomes too. Oh my God. They're, they're like closing in on me, you guys. N no, I'm putting the gnomes. Don't worry, guys. The gnomes are going directly into a bag and I'm going to put them on the highest shelf in my house because if I don't, they will get eaten. You guys believe you've seen it with your own eyes. What goes on in here? It's like a zoo in this house. Okay. So, um, you must be over 18. 
You must be subscribed to my channel. I bought these things. It has nothing to do with YouTube. I'm going to ship them to you. The winner will get them delivered via tracking. So we know they get there. And um, that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. Do share my video. Do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hashtag gnome bunnies or bunny gnomes. Either one is good. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. And good luck. Bye-bye.